Tiger's status for the year's first major has been an open question since he played an 18-hole practice round last week with his son Charlie and Justin Thomas. But he is now also on the pre-tournament interview schedule for tomorrow and as you can see right now in the short game area here at Augusta National. As we say hello, I'm Cara Banks alongside Aaron Oberholzer and Mark Rolfing. We will keep watching these pictures, guys, because this is a sight to behold. I don't think anyone believed that we would see Tiger not only on property, but seriously considering whether or not he will contend and compete in the 86th Masters Tournament. There was hope uh, when his jet landed on Sunday and for a practice round. And uh, Mark, that hope is being realized right now. Watch him out there practice on the grounds today. And I know that there's a lot of patrons out there in the gallery right now watching Tiger Woods play and practice out there. And, it's, um, and they have more hope that he's going to play this week. And I dare to say I think he's going to give it a shot. There's just a remarkable sense of anticipation. I was out walking around earlier talking with some of those patrons, and uh, people weren't asking whether or not Tiger's going to play in the Masters or whether or not uh, he's going to win the Masters. The questions were, is he here? Is, is he on the grounds? The answer is, is yes. Um, I've never really seen anything like it. Uh, the world of golf has stopped right now to see what Tiger is going to do. You mean you haven't seen anything like people tracking a private jet like they did last <laughs> week when uh, he was headed for that, that, that now famous practice round, believed to be the first time Charlie Woods actually played Augusta National. And of course, Tiger's close friend and, and another one of the world's best golfers in Justin Thomas. He did, as you mentioned, Aaron, arrive here yesterday to, to begin the week, yesterday afternoon at the tournament practice area, and then tested his game with a Sunday stroll around Amen Corner. He played the second nine. It's worth noting the golf course was closed to the media yesterday, so there wasn't anyone watching each and every shot, but from what we hear, it looked pretty good. Yeah, Billy Horschel had posted something on social media yesterday talking about how they were hitting balls right next to one another on the tournament practice area, and Billy had said he, you know, was watching a Tiger hit drivers, and the drivers were flying about 290 yards. So, for as an analyst, that tells me the speed's there, Mark. So he's got some speed. He's got that, that arm speed, the body speed. And obviously, to be able to fly at 290 yards, that's a good thing here at Augusta National. You want to have that speed that, you, obviously, the golf course, especially, we'll get into it later in the week and later today, that being lengthened a little bit more. Um, that speed's going to be necessary, and that's a, that's a good sign for Tiger Woods to hear that he's been flying the ball 290 yards in the air with his driver. Everything that I'm seeing about Tiger right now and hearing is all positive. Um, you know, it's interesting. I've been coming to the Masters so many years. Um, and on Sunday, even on Thursday, you see patrons, um, you know, just crowding around the greens and, and, you know, large, large numbers of people gathering in places. I don't believe on a Monday afternoon I've ever seen so many patrons along the tournament practice area here. They're um, just mesmerized by what they're seeing. Uh, by this man. It's really incredible. All he is doing is warming up right now. Well, he's keeping us watching and, and waiting, and we do have a view right over our shoulders from where Tiger is and just all the patrons that have gathered around. But, you know, there was a lot of speculation last week, the tracking of the private jet, people unsure as to what he would do. Would there be an announcement that he's playing one way or the other? Well, yesterday he posted on social media uh, that he would travel to Augusta in the morning and it would still be a game time decision on whether he competes. Do you really believe that to be true or do you think he's 90% in this field? I, I'm going to go with the 90%, Cara, for sure. I, I, I think that, uh, you know, the, the injuries that he suffered with the car accident were definitely, you know, horrific for sure. And to be here so soon, um, just 13 months later, uh, Mark, is, is remarkable. But it's a testament to the competitor that he is and, and to also to a certain extent to modern medicine, quite honestly, that he's, they've got techniques, so on and so forth, that, that can potentially heal him faster and get him ready for the walk that is Augusta National. And, and I don't think any of us who've played this golf course and played this tournament will sit there and say that there's a tougher walk in golf, quite honestly, than Augusta National. And that's what I think more than anything. Hitting the golf shots aren't the issue, for, aren't going to be the issue for Tiger Woods this week. The, I, I think the walk, more than anything, is going to be the issue for Tiger Woods. And if, if, it, if he is still, in his mind, in his mind, truthfully, a game-time decision, it will be because of the walk, how difficult of a walk that this place really is. I, I walked the second nine um, during uh, the Augusta National Women's Amateur on Saturday. And I, you know, I hadn't played here since 2008, 2009, 
and I forgot how hilly that how hilly that back that that second nine is. And so um, he he's got his work cut out for him going around here for potentially 72 holes, and depending on how many holes he wants to put get in for a, for a practice round. However, he doesn't. Obviously, he doesn't need as much practice around this place as most guys do because he has his formula. He understands it's all about understanding right now what his body is going to give him this week and understanding what he can and can't do with that body as far as hitting shots, shaping shots, and obviously the biggest question, the ability to walk it. I'm with you on the walking part. That is the most difficult part. I'm going to take it even a step further. I believe it's the downhill walking that's going to cause him the biggest challenge and issues as opposed to the uphill. Uh, if you're a cyclist, you know the dynamics of, of, of things like that. When you're walking uphill, you can use more of your upper body to brace against the slope going up, and it doesn't put quite as much pressure on your lower extremities. But when you're walking downhill, all the weight is transferred to the lower part of your body, and that's where you're going to have the biggest issues. Tiger's mental strength has always been uh, the strongest part of his game, I believe. And from the minute he tees off till the minute he finishes, it's just been a total 